Today, we're going to have a difficult conversation, and there's really no easy way to say it. The Smash Squad and HMB are merging together, and we're migrating out of 1254. Stick around in this video for the facts, the reality, not the speculation as to why it is that we're actually leaving, what we're going to go and do, and why you might consider joining our really insane project. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Just Cool Gaming, and despite what you may hear or believe, I actually like to generally avoid drama. And migration being discussed in the middle of a KVK is generally a huge source of drama. Are your players and is the kingdom even going to perform, given that some number of players are planning to migrate already after this KVK is over? And so let me address that up front. And there's a lot we're going to talk about in this video, so consider using the timestamps in the description to navigate to whichever portion you are most interested in. Now, for those of you that are in the 365-846 war camp, before you celebrate too heavily about the fact that we're migrating out of 1254, let's give you the context and give everyone the context that we're planning still to fight this KVK to the bitter end. And more than ever, we need to basically zero all our accounts to have a really great migration to the kingdom where we ultimately will go. And that kingdom is still to be determined. So for those of you thinking, oh man, 365 gets an easy win, Smash Squad is leaving. Not only is that extremely not true, we're not leaving in the middle of this KVK. We're leaving only when this KVK is completely over and after rewards have been distributed. So there's no intention to leave mid KVK. Let me just be super upfront and clear about that, even though we do plan to migrate. So then why the heck are you announcing this before a big fight was happening? And there's a number of reasons why this migration is important, and I want to talk about that. But but let's first talk about why the heck would you announce this before a pass opening, bro? And there's really two important factors. The first is, this is not going to change the outcome of the upcoming fight. There are no fair weather fans in 1254 that are like, oh, woe is me, leave the kingdom, I'm a sissy. Like, none of these people are left in 1254. You don't join 1254 to be a fair weather fan. That is just dumb. You only join 1254 under the creed of 1254, which is that all my troops will die. And I will remind you of this, by the way, by looking at the individual power rankings and Bunny's photo over here, the creed in 1254. English literature, I will die for honor. French literature, I will die for love. American literature, I will die for freedom. 1254 literature, I will die. All our troops are going to die this KVK. For people that want to join this big, big, big project that we're doing, you basically have to zero yourself. Is what it is. Um, everybody's going to try and zero themselves. The only reason that might not happen is if somehow we win and didn't have enough fighting to get that done. Okay? So the entry point... For joining this new project, if you're already in the Smash Squad or HMB, is going to be basically zeroing your account in this KVK. All right, so we're still fighting. The rest of 1254 is fighting. No one should be freaking out about whether or not there's still going to be an amazing fight that goes down in these next zones. Because I think everybody in 1254 is very cleanly aligned that we want to beat 365, that we want to beat 846, and we want to give it everything we have, just like our allies have. And I got to give a big shout out to 1302 with this incredible fort wall that they built because people did not believe that the fort wall would still be here when this zone opens, and yet here we are. And the fort wall is here, and we're days away from this zone opening, and it looks like they're going to be here, baby. And this move, by the way, to the credit of 1302, is very much an out planning of 846. And there's no disrespect to 846. I said multiple times that I would have been wrecked by this same move as well. I didn't see it. I didn't see the, the, the implications of the fort wall that they had built. But as a reminder to everyone, the easy, 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 easy way to have avoided this situation is when the first bunch of forts went up over here signaling they're building a wall, all that had to be done was to build a few forts behind it, and they would have finished at about the same time and the problem would be managed, okay? It, it it still would have been a lot of fighting. It still would have been hard, but not nearly as hard as it is to clear out this fort wall. And in fact, it probably can't be cleared by the time this pass opens, which is absolutely insane. So 
This is an out plan by 1302. I can't speak to outplay or not because I've not been watching the play that closely to be able to say, but it, it's just a planning issue. And, and that planning was insane. Absolutely insane kudos to 1302 for this wall. So all that to say, if you're one of our allies, nothing to fear. Nobody should be leaving and everybody should be fighting as hard as they were planning to fight before. Now, not everyone is going to come with us on this new project where we migrate to a new kingdom. And even the players that want to stay in 1254 have absolutely insane requirements for their kills and dead troops in order to even stay here. So anyone freaking out about the sanctity of this KVK can relax. This is going to be a great KVK still. And that pass opening is on Tuesday. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Now, it's amazing, like, how long it's taking me to get to the point here, which is like, okay, so why did you announce the damn migration already? There's a reason why we had to announce this migration before the pass is even opened and as soon as we possibly could. And look, I people think I'm this big orchestrator of what's happening. I'm not. I can barely keep up with the velocity of change here. I am simply reporting to you what has been decided. I am uh, <laughs> late at best in advising what the team moving forward is going to do. There are officers that are all deciding this. So for those of you who think school is orchestrating this, I'm not. I'm telling you about it, okay? So why now? There are already rumors that some number of players are going to quit in 1254. That's not a secret, okay? Redline has announced publicly, hey, I'm out after this KVK unless there's some big project I want to go join or some cool thing that's going on. I'm probably going to bounce. And, and I get it, okay? I definitely get it. Um, in addition to that, okay, some number of players quitting. Um, the reality is that once a rumor starts spreading, ooh, players might be quitting in 1254. All, all our players are getting hit by recruiters. And I know the situation is bad with regard to poachers when I start getting messages of people trying to poach me. Because I am always the last person to get poached. They always try to poach the rest of my team before they poach me. So we needed to directly address having a place for Smash Squad and HMB to have an amazing time because I'm telling you, our players were getting recruited and every single day we waited was a day where we were going to hemorrhage players and we couldn't afford it. We simply couldn't afford to hemorrhage players. So we realized there should be no impact to the sanctity of this KVK and the quality of this KVK and there will be a huge save when it comes to um, actually being able to prevent some number of our players from committing to going somewhere else because they're freaked out about what does the future look like. And one of the players, by the way, quitting in 1254 that like, this is true, it's not a rumor, is Ruz. And everybody knows that Ruz does a ton of work for the Smash Squad and he will be quitting Rise of Kingdoms at the end of this KVK, which is a big GG we really appreciate everything that Ruz does. Um, he's been a freaking force for change in 1075 and here in 1254, and we deeply appreciate him. So to some extent, some of these rumors about like, hey, wait a minute, people are quitting is actually true. So we had to address it up front to prevent hemorrhaging of players, which was actively happening. Okay, it's not a dream. It's not made up. And as soon as I started getting uh, poaching messages, I knew it had to be pretty bad for everybody. Okay, so... We had to address that. Now, what is this project that we're doing? We are going to build a kingdom that is like 1960, that is like the kingdom that 1v had, that is a one alliance or two alliance kingdom, and it's going to be extremely strong, queuing up for KVK as fast as we possibly can. I can't promise we won't rest between some KVKs in order to find better opponents, but the goal is to build a 1960 or uh, 1v-like kingdom, and also not only to fight intense KVKs, but to go and have a shot at an Ark of Osiris top placement. Now, we might still be able to have done that uh, in 1254, but uh, the combination of moving to a kingdom where um, we can get in all the players we want to get in, and also win an Osiris League, I think is going to be really attractive to a lot of people, and to form a primarily English-speaking version of those like 1961 V kingdoms that we know are insanely successful and, and really have been for a very, very long time. And I know even though 1V has moved on to other things now, 
when that kingdom was in its prime, man, it was freaking sweet, okay? So we are going to emulate that, and you might want to join us, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So the question then becomes, well, why, why not do that in 1254? And there's two big problems why this could not be done in 1254. The first problem is a big change that we all know is coming to the game. The developers have said that they're considering limiting the number of players that can queue for KVK. Y'all may not see it yet, but the writing is on the wall. The developers have multiple times tried to limit the size of big kingdoms, and it's coming. I don't know for sure, but I, if I were betting money, I would say it's coming, and it's only a matter of time before every big kingdom will die and splinter off into smaller kingdoms. So you can either do it on your own terms, or you can wait until you're sitting there looking at a queue, and it's like, oh, uh, so only 300 people can queue for KVK, or 450 people can queue for KVK, and we have 900. Good luck to the big kingdoms that don't figure this out soon, okay? It's coming. It's just a question of when. May not be today. May not be tomorrow. May not be within the next half year, but it it is coming. It, it, the developers have tried it multiple times. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. So that's one piece of the puzzle. Kingdoms are too big, and you have to get smaller. The second piece of the puzzle is that we have a problem, and it's not a coincidence I have power listed up on the screen here. The power in 1254 is insane. Why is that? Because two things. First of all, we had a huge spree of match not found. Big problem. Big, big, big problem for the kingdom. Developers looked at that very seriously. They're very seriously addressing that. The second problem is that we had a KVK against a bunch of kingdoms that ultimately decided instead of taking the big fight, they would just sort of fight each other off to the side, do a little free-for-all thing, and then literally 1254 took every pass into King's Land with the least fighting of any KVK we've ever done, probably in the history of 1254. That is a problem because we are an Imperium kingdom, okay? And the consequences of this may not be easy to understand, but allow me to explain it. Because we're an Imperium kingdom, it is critical that we kill off as many troops as we can every single KVK in order to subsequently get a migration into our kingdom to leave this Imperium status to migrate people into the kingdom. But when we fought these kingdoms in the past, I don't have to name them, y'all know who they are, or you don't, it doesn't matter, when we fought those kingdoms and they decided to do their side fight instead of a main fight, it completely screwed 1254 migrations basically for the rest of time. Um, we gained so much power relative to all the other Imperiums, relative to what we could have gained or would have gained in other situations. We achieved escape velocity on being able to leave Imperium. Why does that matter? At the end of this KVK, to even begin to reshape our kingdom— Players were going to have to delete tons of troops to even get any migration going at all. So we were all going to have to zero ourselves, and we were going to have to delete troops. It's just dumb, man. It's just dumb. So 1254 is already too big. Even after we splinter off with HMB and SW, it, you're still looking at probably either an Imperium or High A, especially after 1254 completes its own migration into the kingdom. So that's a part of the rationale for like, hey, in order to do one of these projects, we have to leave. And I think the future of the game is pointing to kingdoms getting smaller. And so that's why we ultimately had to announce, yeah, we're leaving. And that's why I think leaving, unfortunately, makes sense. Because I do really like a lot of the players in 1254. And I personally don't have any beef with any of the officers. I personally don't have any drama that's unaired between myself and any of the other members of the kingdom. And in fact, I am going to plug 1254 as a kingdom you should consider migrating to even still by sharing information in the description of this video. I'll talk about that more in just a bit uh, because I have really enjoyed my t time in 1254. It is far and away the strongest kingdom I've ever been in. It is far and away the most well-run kingdom I've ever been in. And it is far and away the best kingdom I've ever been in for really building and maintaining a fighter mindset. And that's not easy to do. So I have nothing but good things to say about 1254. So for those of you with the tinfoil hats, assuming that there's some drama between Chiskel and the kingdom, that simply isn't true. There is one other weirdness that I suppose we can talk about. And people have brought it to my attention, but I'm honestly not worried about it because it'd be really moronic to do this. But if we win KVK, it is possible that, you know, people pointed out to me, like, what if 1254 
screws SW and HMB out of rewards and gives them no autark testimonies, which is what you need to get the most important inscriptions in the game. And my thought on this one is that, sure, while they could do that, it would be possibly the dumbest thing they could do, no matter how, if there were some people feeling spiteful, no, no matter how perhaps vindicated they might feel, it would mean that all the people who plan to stay in the kingdom would no longer stay in the kingdom, because how can you trust someone who doesn't reward your biggest fighters? And all the people who were planning to migrate to the kingdom would not migrate to the kingdom, because who migrates to a kingdom where alliances get screwed out of rewards when they're big contributors? So I just think it would be so dumb if we do win, assuming we win, to exclude SW and HMB. I don't, honestly, I don't even think we need to talk about this, but because I got was getting some questions about it, it's like, hey, look, I, I just think it's so dumb to do that. And even if it did happen, there's still these rewards, which are better than nothing, but not nearly as good as these rewards over here. But it's so dumb, I think it's probably not going to happen. If it does happen, then I get a video out of it, I guess, which like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's literally money in my pocket. I just don't think it's going to happen. So with all of this insane context out of the way, and I know it took me like 15 minutes to share all of this critical information, but like, here we are, it's critical information. I think all of it was super relevant. What is this project you're doing? We don't yet know which kingdom we're going to, okay? But guess who's back to help run the project? Your favorite polar bear, Cortex, is coming back. You may be like, whoa, but didn't he quit? Well, he did. And what he realized from his time away from the game is that he actually likes playing the game a lot. It's the spending in the game that was more the issue. And um, he is going to come back and be um, one of the officers if not the leading officer. I'm not exactly sure we've like fully solidified it, but he's got a lot of time and passion to commit to making this project work, which is really exciting. And if you're wondering, well, what players have signed up for this project? I mean, there's a ton of interest in SW. There's a ton of interest in HMB. Everybody has to earn their spots by basically zeroing themselves this KVK if they want to come on this project, which should be really fun. And not only is this, this project going to bring players like Justin, strongest player by power in the game, who's like, hell yeah, this sounds exciting. But also you've got players like Fat Hands, who were once in the Smash Squad. They left because we weren't getting any KVKs in 1254. And they're like, baby, I'm in. Let's get the band back together. We're doing this thing. There are even players who've heard about this project before I even announced it that had quit the game. And they're like, I will come back and spend like a madman for this project, which is like, okay. So people are really interested in a kingdom being formed with experienced leadership that is very passionate, okay, that is going to be super mature in the way that they uh, approach kingdom leadership and, and how to run things. Um, and they want that, like, always on, fight like crazy, insanely stacked kingdom to play in. And that's ultimately what we aspire to build. So if that's something you're interested in, a crazy all-in kingdom, with a ton of crazy all-in fighters, vetted by none other than Cortex, who has led half a dozen, a dozen migrations in multiple different kingdoms and contexts, and knows exactly how to find and is already connected to many of these big players, then consider using the link in the description of this video. It'll be very clearly labeled for being the SW HMB Smash Squad project, okay? Follow that link to our migration Discord, where you can apply, fill out a form, and get started with the process of joining the Smash Squad. Alternatively, if you have a kingdom that you would like us to join with this team, Cortex's Discord information will be in the description of this video. You have a direct line to Cortex. Don't abuse it. He will very quickly ban <laughs> abusers of his personal Discord information, okay? But if you are offering a kingdom... We've already received like a shocking number of offers, given that we haven't even announced the project until this moment. Uh, but if you want to offer a kingdom, definitely do so using Cortex's information. Reach him directly. He's that serious about having the conversation and finding the right kingdom that he has given you his personal information. I think that's insane. I wouldn't have done that if I were him. He's that committed. The final link that'll be in the description that you should definitely still check out is the one for the 1254 migration server. 1254 should still be an awesome kingdom, even after the Smash Squad and HMB leave the kingdom. You've still got TR, which is insane. You've still got Q Savan, which is insane. 
and more. So both will become essentially these two alliance kingdoms, maybe three alliance kingdoms, um, depending on the size of the second and third alliance, that I think makes a lot of sense for the future context of the game, for getting good matches, and so on. So I think you've got a lot of really, really great options. So consider either applying to our project or to 1254. I think both are going to be really, really great places to be moving forward. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, consider doing so now because this is going to be an insane fight that unfolds on Tuesday. Absolutely freaking monster, man. Big shout out to 1302 for your holdout and our allies in 525 for staying committed to clearing out this zone and fighting, I mean, nonstop, right? I, I, I appreciate you and we look forward to joining you and zeroing ourselves if necessary in this upcoming zone. And that, by the way, is the entry point into the elite kingdom that we're trying to build. And as it turns out, is the same requirement anyone would have to stay in 1254 anyways, okay? So it should be crazy fun. Wow. I mean, it's insane. Um, I do need to give a couple more shout outs also to Chadsky and Peace, who are helping run this big project that we're doing. Uh, thank you for your leadership. I appreciate you. Big thank you to Ruz and Cortex and the many other people that are helping run the show in both 1254 in general and also for this new project. I think it's going to be really insane and you're not going to want to miss it. Whew. <laughs> what a video to make, man. Um, if you're looking for some entertainment, something a little more low key, relaxed, a little bit more slash popcorn, okay? Consider checking out the cards in the end screen that showcase the updates that led us to this point where this insane fort wall has been built.